<laughs> the guys are hooking this up as we speak. This is where the old broken leaking. This is where I've been back from Puerto Rico. We have not had heat in the house. YouTube channel. My name is Scott Medinal and I live in the gray tundra of Minnesota and that's exactly what it's been. We are raising a family of seven children in the tundra of Minnesota. There's so much snow that I don't even need tripods. You, what you're sitting on is just one. You're sitting on one big ginormous pile of snow. Look at that. It's a record setting amount of snow in the month of February. Today is February 27th, 2019. We got snow and we got a story to tell you today. There's so much snow here that, again, you're sitting on a snow drift as I demonstrate how big these drifts are behind us. This is why we love Minnesota is for this amount of snow. But the story we have to tell you has to do with when things go bad in the snow. Now, now look, don't, don't let the sunshine here fool you. It is very cold at the moment. It's very early in the morning and the story we're going to tell you uh, involves a lot of people that rescued a family of seven little children in the tundra when their furnace broke. snow that the amount of snow that sits on this ground is close to four feet of snow but it's compact so you don't sink all the way through but if you really were to be running around in the woods today snowshoes are required have you ever lost your heat when it's been negative six outside in your house Woo! it's cold doesn't matter doesn't matter how beautiful this is it's still cold in the tundra of minnesota I came back from Puerto Rico and bam, the heat went out and our water heater went out for five days without any heat in the house. And we had no idea how we were gonna get it fixed, when we were gonna get it fixed, and then how are you gonna pay for it? Was the furnace broken, like fixable for $100 or we had to replace the whole stinking thing? That is so cute. What is, what kind is he? That is so cute. right there has all kinds of fur to keep warm which we required over this past uh, five days with no heater working i can't wait to tell you this whole story but let's get in here to warm let's go i'm gonna go park the moose i'll meet you inside didn't know and you're watching this for the first time like watching our channel we took a trip to Puerto Rico where we were helping people uh, in the hurricane and I know that was a year ago I spent a week there and some snow fell here and left Holly and the seven kids here as I was in Puerto Rico and while I was there the water heater started leaking and the furnace was going in and out it was Friday when I landed and we called several furnace places to ask if they had anyone that could come out and help us. And what was the verdict? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 They incurred 
it's just not too cool. They were like, is there any way you can make it till Monday? This is Friday. Can you make it to Monday? We know it's cold. Can you get there then? Because the cost of us coming out now is really expensive. she speaks of when you have a house full of these little guys some not feeling very good it's a really stressful decision we did make the decision of going till Monday and then we had to run space heaters and all kinds of stuff to stay warm and then wait for the verdict before that call was made it sounded like what? Like a dying cat or, or a dying cow of some sort. <laughs> it was something dying. That's the inside of our furnace. It doesn't work. It's trying to fire. It's super loud. It hasn't worked since I got back from Puerto Rico. Today is my birthday. Oh, it can go. It might go. Oh no, it's so loud. That was the last time the the furnace ever worked again. We had somebody come out and look at it and it was a bad motor and then a couple other things were wrong on it and then it, the decision had to be made what to do next. But I'm sitting in, this thing is amazing. This, look at this. So the decision was made to fix the furnace at first because that's what we could afford is to fix the furnace only. And I was gonna come in at $1,000 to fix it just to see if the other two parts Mommy, in the furnace Mom, were going Mom. to be fixable. So Mommy, we were only putting $1,000 in only to see if it was going to be dead and it was not refundable and all those pieces. And then something crazy happened. All right, we'll see you later, bye. We were making the decision to replace the $1,000 part because that's honestly what we could afford to do. We are like, let's hope that fixes the furnace and gets us heat to at least summer. And then we got a phone call. Hello? What's that? Yeah. Out of nowhere. And a person gets on and says, hey, we would like to purchase a new furnace and air conditioning for you. And I'm sitting here talking to this family on the, spot on the phone and what they want to do for us to help us out. It was really hard to even put words together of even how to express what was even happening or what going on and just the fact that somebody would see this need for us and want to step in and help us that they never even met before. It really is difficult to put in words and we keep saying thank you to everybody that's helped do this because one family started a chain reaction of, man, we want to help we want to help this family because we're normally the hands and feet of of Jesus helping people like when we see needs meet needs and all of a sudden we found ourselves in need of a water heater and a furnace and this family jumped in and started a snowball effect we find ourselves being able to install a brand new furnace air conditioning and water heater big old furnace thing over there to melt the ground so they can put the slab of concrete down. It is negative two degrees currently, as you can tell with my breath. It's cold today, but we're gonna have a furnace. And that's a good thing. I know some of you are asking, how in the world does a family or individuals get made known of what's happening with the family in the tundra of Minnesota? This is how we function and this isn't meant to be a turn off to you. This is really some beliefs and principles in our lives that we believe in and it's, and it's prayer. And prayer is just a conversation with God and we just reached out to some of our friends that are praying for us and we just said, would you pray for us? Our furnace is out, our water heater's out. And in that, people were being notified what was happening and somebody heard of the need 
and then said they could meet that need. It's funny how that is. Oftentimes, we forget that prayers are often answered through people, and this individual started telling people, hey, let's get together and start coming up with resources to help this family in Minnesota, and we happen to be that family. And we always are functioning here, see a need, meet a need. Usually, we're the ones looking for the needs and meeting those needs, and here we are finding ourselves in need, and somebody saw it and said it. What we just said was we're going to pray, and then we're going to watch for God to show up and show off. And this story is all about God showing up and showing off in our lives, and we just want to document that. Thanks for listening to our story today. If you like the story, we tell plenty of stories like this. We're in the middle of telling the story of Puerto Rico and the things we did there with a the summer camp and things. So you should subscribe, give a thumbs up, and leave a comment down below. Those involved in the story, but no names were given. Thank you so much from the bottom of our heart. Thanks for creating a memory for us and reminding us how Jesus shows up and shows off. So, I leave you with this. Would you watch and pray, or pray and watch, and watch Jesus show up and show off in your life? It really does work. It might be at times the scary way of doing life, but I promise you this. Once you get used to that, the fear no longer is there. It subsides and something new replaces with wonder. How is Jesus going to show up and show off in this? And he did through you. Thank you guys. Have a great night or day or afternoon. We'll see you on the next one. Bye. I think one of the coolest parts of the story is these three men come in to install air conditioning furnace. We have these guys come in and we served them coffee, Red Bull, and lunch. Typically they just go eat in their car and come back in and here we are having a conversation about life in general. Then you know what, eventually we got to point them to why we do everything we do.